And it's Thanksgiving and Eric is making coffee with Daddy. Making some uh Kinook, yeah? Coffee. Shake it down. Cheers. So it's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. We are spending the day in Epcot today. I have a reservation now. I don't even know if we want to say what it is because uh, we're very late as it is and we're not even in the park yet. So. when Disney does construction because we get a whole bunch of Walt Disney clothes. Okay, so we're going to Guest Relations to see if they can call Canada. Oh, just gave it away. We're supposed to be eating at Canada. So they're calling Canada to see if they can hold it or just make sure that they don't get rid of it. Mommy and Eric are running there now and I'm going to meet them. Hopefully the Guest Relations line isn't long because if the line is long, that kind of defeats the whole purpose of us going. We could have spent that time walking to Canada, so. So we're over here. We have to get all the way to here. <laughs> Where's Daddy? You see him? No? Not yet? We're looking for Daddy. Sure. Look who we found standing in between the palm trees as if we have no reservation to get to right now. You gonna come to the reservation? What? You gonna come to the reservation? Guess relations. Yeah, we're done. All right, so we got everyone. The whole family's here now. We're all together. They were able to hold the reservation for us. The lady was so nice, and she said that we'll be fine. Just go down there and get there ASAP. And she's calling them and letting them know. So now I can tell you guys, we're going to Canada for. Um, How do you even? Is it La Cellier or La Cellier? La Cellier. La Cellier. Do they pronounce the R? I thought it was La Cellier. I think it's La Cellier. I think it's La Cellier. La Cellier. Happy Thanksgiving! Cheers! Happy Thanksgiving! Our favorite, right? <laughs> Look at this cute little chocolate mousse dessert that Eric got for his birthday. They closed off this whole nice little walkway that goes through the water fountain and through all the rocks and everything. All right, so now we're in the kid cut area in Canada. Eric is coloring. Right here. It's very into it. Very. And then after this, we're gonna go to maybe America and to the Voices of Liberty because it's three o'clock now and there's a 3.15 show. Um, there's a 3.15 show. There's a 3.15 show and then Sergio is in Italy like right after that. So we might try and go over to America and Italy after this. Now we're getting on the boat.
because some frozen drinks are too frozen and then some of them are like too like watery and have like ice chunks this, this is, is the perfect. perfect you can see the way it looks in it's the cup like a, a it, it looks liquidy but it's like it's like a thick liquidy like frozen drink we almost didn't get it I saw a red version of it that you see it's so funny see. I put a clip in I saw the red version and I was like oh it looks okay like it looks kind of good I ordered that one and she was like do you want the red or the blue and I was like there's a blue one with alcohol because if you see on the sign it doesn't say that there's a blue one with alcohol so I was like well, what's in that one she was like oh it's everything that's in the normal one we just add alcohol to it I was like send it this is the best drink I've ever had in my entire life how do you drink this this well just sip well. it Pretty good. It's good, right? Yeah. This is really good. Love this it. It's not too sweet and it's perfect. Is that Norwegian? Perfect. 
Isn't that nice? So I asked Daddy if he wanted me to hold his drink. And what was your answer? Holding my beer helps my balance. Drinking my beer helps my balance more better. More better. More better. More better. When Daddy drinks too much, he only speaks in German and none of us can understand him. That's like an art painting. This thing takes off so fast. It just picks up speed and goes. They're screaming, oh my gosh. So mommy's saying that it kind of feels like a roller coaster when you first take off and then it like tickles your stomach a little bit. A little. And it, 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 it goes. All right, let's do this. So we just went down to uh, the seas and we saw my friend Will. And now we're going on the Skyline and we're just gonna ride it like around and then come back to Epcot because we have a store and fast pass at like 7.55. It's Thanksgiving day and I just feel like it's gonna be crazy leaving after the fireworks so I feel like we should leave before the fireworks. And I also wanna get up early tomorrow and swim because I haven't swam once since I've been here and I really am trying to catch some sun because there is none in New York right now. I get to experience a new ride in Disney unless they make a new ride. We've been coming here for so long, so like we've done everything like as far as rides and whatever. This is rare. Like, this is really exciting. Oh my goodness. What? This is so cool. Oh my gosh. This is like wow. This thing. You enjoyed your visit to Epcot and World Showcase. Did you learn how to say hello in a different language today? Yes. There's the Eiffel Tower. Okay, so during the day you can see all the Ratatouille construction behind France. Oh, you can see. Oh, you can see a lot of it. Yeah. Oh wow. Wow. Oh look, opening summer 2020. Soon we'll be flying past Disney's Boardwalk Inn. Swan and Dolphin, Boardwalk. I was like, who's that? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> So where are we going right now? Yeah, we don't stop here. We don't? No. Oh my gosh. Jump off. Oh my gosh, why are we going so fast? <gasps> oh my god. What? Oh, <gasps> Monster Sink! <laughs> and boo. We're gonna take off. We take off again? Yeah, oh my gosh. Gosh. Moana! There's me! Whoa, I see my- oh, Look at the reflection. Whoa. A little more. Whoa. Yeah, that took my stomach a little. We're coming into the Riviera. Oh my gosh, we're going so fast. No way. No way. What? Connecting flights to Disney's Hollywood Studios, Disney's Pop Century Resort, and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. Disney Beach Resort. When exiting the cabin, please supervise your children, select from a lock and watch your steps. Thank you for flying. Alright, so this is the main area of the Skyliners. That one's to Hollywood Studios in three different ways. This one is to Epcot and the Riviera. And that one's to Art of Animation and Pop Century. All right, so we're just gonna hop on the Art of Animation and Pop Century Skyliner because I think that it would be really cool to see all of Art of Animation. All of Art of Animation. Why can I say it? I just feel like it's gonna be really cool to see both resorts at night from above, like seeing all the, the life size, you know, everything. Now we get our own, hopefully. Where do you want to go? You want to face the wind? So what I think is really cool about the Skyliner is that every time you go on, you're guaranteed a seat. Like with the monorail, you're not guaranteed a seat. The bus, you're definitely not guaranteed a seat. Sometimes even the boat, you're not guaranteed a seat. We got so close to the place that it drops us off at, and now we're stopped over the water.
So this used to be mine when I was little and I used to love it and wear it every single day and now I gave it to Eric so now Eric gets to wear it. First time going in green. How about that, Eric? I think it's Mickey and Goofy and Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a three hour show. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Here we go. And can I jump in a rapid one? This boat just pulled up to the magic show. They got the best seats in the house. boardwalk for a little and we came back and we got boardwalk pizza when I went up to scan my magic band I had pizza all over the finger that I'm supposed to put down for my magic band to let me into the park and it kept going blue like 20 times and like no one was coming over to help the lady and she wasn't really doing anything either so I was like you know what I'm just gonna keep trying I'll try it again wipe it on my pants try it again wipe it on my pants like 20 times later it finally worked we just made it guys enjoy we didn't even scan our bands. Why did we book a fast pace? What did he say? Time to fly. <laughs> there he goes. Hi, Eric. Okay, we're on tour. And we're, well, we're not on tour. And we're on the line for tour. And. and for the fast pass, I mean for the thing, we didn't have to scan our vamps. That never happened to us ever in Disney before. It's really cool. I'm sorry I didn't vlog it a lot today. Okay, go back. Are you tired? A little bit. Not really. Not really? Are you too tired to go to Magic Kingdom after this? Not really. Not really. Do you think we should go to Magic Kingdom for a little after this? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> should we? Yeah. Guess what time they're open till? Midnight. Midnight? So you can go there for a little. Maybe ride a ride or two? Should we do it? We, we get to take the monorail there. <laughs> That's a good idea. That's <laughs> how he's like all in. <laughs> Alright, so we're in line for Soren and we just got the best of both worlds because we got Little Concourse, which is Soren's B, which is the center, and we got put in the front row. We didn't even ask for it. She was just like commenting, we're like, three. she was like, row one, we're like, okay. Sleepy. Okay, so we're on the Chan Monroe. We're going to Magic, oh, Peach, I mean. And we're going to Magic Kingdom. We're going to ride People Mover and what was the other one? Dumbo? Yeah, Dumbo. And then we're going home. And I'm really tired and I'm about to fall asleep. That's my leader. of Magic Kingdom. That's how you know it's busy. <laughs> we made it to Magic Kingdom! Wow, the fireworks are going on. Let's go meet Mickey Mouse. Hi! 
Oh, how many? Oh, no, eight, eight ears. Mickey likes that it says eight ears. Because, <laughs> you know, that's our, that's our perfect finger count. Wait. Oh, yes. <laughs> four and four is eight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's got it. <laughs> you know Magic Kingdom is crowded. When they open this, in between Tony's and the little hat store, they open this other cast members only, quote unquote, um, walkway. That's not for cast members only when there's too many people in the park. Disney tried with the line, but um, everyone's just gonna walk right towards this anyway. You get a great view of Cinderella's castle when you walk on this walkway. They changed the chairs in here for the dessert party. They were never orange. That's so weird. I think I need to make a montage video of all the times that we've come on Steve Mover and got stuff. We ain't going nowhere. We're on people mover, but we suck. Yeah. So we stop. We're not there. Everything is stopped. Everything. The only thing moving. Not us. Just the ground. So we're finally moving, but when we started taking off, we literally crashed into the car. We were like, we were hot. It was like, cool. And then we just like started slowly moving. And now we're on the ride. And they're not even putting people on the ride. Like, we left, and they were like, they were letting it in the car go. Like, should we even be on here right now? But we didn't crash into them. The other car just crashed into another car, which crashed into us. Literally, it, it's just piled up people mover cars that are empty besides us and these people that just keep crashing into each other and inching up and up and up. So eventually, we'll probably. Oh, no, we now we're going to. Your attention. Please <laughs> remain seated. This ride has stopped temporarily. We're literally going to we'll resume motion at any time. Please remain seated for your own safety. Why us? Thank you. Did they move too? No, I don't know. I don't get it. We're literally just sitting on the track and every now and then it'll like shift a little bit. Thankfully, all the cars that would crash into us already have crashed into us, so we won't be crashed into anymore. Wait, Sam, we're gonna get you guys out in just a few months, okay? Oh, my God. Eric, we gotta get out. Look, we're yeah, gonna walk, we've never done this before. I am the, the leader, so who's gonna open your door for you? I've got my handy dandy fast pass giver in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see if you open before the end of the night if you make your way back to Tomorrowland a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do we just come out of a cast members only door? Yep. <laughs> now we're in some random um, area. I don't even know where we are. Where? Oh, this is the this is the stitch thing. We got dumped out into stitch. Are you gonna open the door for us? Wow! Thank you. Where did we just come from? Let's see what the sign says. Wow, personnel only. He's running under the ropes when he's right around the corner from him, and he kind of just walks around. Buzz. Oh Eric, how did you beat me? I don't understand. You're seven years old. I never beat you before. You never have. <laughs> Beating me with ease, complete ease, and I'm stressed out, and he still beats me. And also, just so you guys know, we've never told Eric, well, I've never told Eric how to get any of the big targets on this ride. I've never told him how to get Galactic Hero. He's never even asked. He kind of just points and shoots. And I kept hearing him rack up 100,000 point targets. And I look over, and he's catching up to my score. I look back. He has the same score as me. I look back, and he's beating me. And I was like, okay, I'll catch up to him. Whatever. At the end of the game, he has 200,000 more than me. I don't understand. How did you do it? Tell me. I need help. The gingerbread house is up. Okay, this area was closed off last time we were here. Oh my goodness. It smells like a new building. Oh, it's a mirror. <laughs> oh my god. Is this just a wet? Oh my god. Look at the ceiling. Ceiling. This is crazy. So we're at the Grand Floridia now, we're about to take a lift. Back home, we ordered a lift. The lift was like 16 minutes away, and then it said 12 minutes for like 15 minutes, and then randomly it was like, we found you a different driver. So now this driver is five minutes away. Um, let's see if he actually picks us up. 